mother of a missing teen anxiously awaiting for answers after a body was found in a manhole. The gruesome discovery was made this afternoon. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park has the latest from Detroit Police Headquarters. O'Shawn Lockett has been missing since July 7th, last seen just a few blocks from where this body was found earlier today. And while investigators say it will likely take days to get a positive identification, they say the body is probably O'Shawn. Brenda Burton has walked nearly every square foot of this West Side neighborhood since the day her 19-year-old son disappeared back in July. I've searched this area for the last 61 days, been in three, 400 vacant houses, the schools, down the railroad tracks, everywhere, but I keep coming back to this spot. And that spot at the corner of Chalfont and Sorrento, just blocks away from where she dropped off O'Shawn Lockett on July 6th, was where Brenda and her sons were tipped off Saturday about a body in a manhole. They pushed aside the cover and found it lying in the sewer about 20 feet below the ground. It's a body with a hand sticking up, and you can see the other hand. You can kind of see the shoulders. Detroit police say the body had likely been there for weeks, possibly longer. The color of his skin and his shorts and shoes indistinguishable, but family members are almost certain it is O'Shawn. When the fire department put the light down in there, my other sons looked down in there and said, Why, oh, that's him. News that's unsettled people who helped search for O'Shawn for the past few months. I'm hoping that they do have closure, but it's still saddening to know that he's gone. As dozens of neighbors looked on, police and fire and rescue crews spent hours figuring out how to pull the body out. Crews eventually hoisted it up using rope. Investigators say identifying the body will probably take days because of how decomposed it is. Brenda, in the meantime, says this could be the closure she specifically prayed for when it rained earlier this week. I went outside and I prayed and said, God, please let this rain bring my son afloat. Let this rain bring him out. Investigators also tell us that body had some head trauma and that this appears to be a dump job. They tell us they are treating this as a homicide. In downtown Detroit, Jane Park, 7 Action News.